YouTube. Mike Howell here for Naps, New Age Pipe Smokers. Hope y'all are doing well today. I'm doing pretty fantastic. It's a lovely, warm, sunny Labor Day, but not hot like it has been lately. It's just perfect, about 80 degrees. Sitting on my front deck enjoying some haunted bookshop out of uh, this interesting little unfinished saxophone unnamed from RNA Treasures. I think I paid like 20 bucks for this thing. It's a great smoker. So I wanted to talk today about uh, bad habits in pipe smoking, specifically my bad habits in pipe smoking. Things that uh, can cause some smokers problems and uh, that you'll always hear that you're not supposed to do, but that uh, I kind of do anyway. I think we all have a few of them, at least one or two because of, you know, how subjective and uh, different pipe smoking is for every person. So, I think the, uh, the first and the worst of my bad pipe smoking habits is uh, I have a pretty fast cadence. It's not so bad when I'm sitting here talking to you guys because I gotta have my mouth running so I can't be smoking the whole time, but I tend to puff away like a damn choo-choo train. And uh, I know they say that slow and that the best, uh, the best way to smoke your pipe is if it's almost on the verge of going out. heard over and over again that's how you get the best flavor I uh, I have to believe that most people have that experience because otherwise they wouldn't all be saying that but I personally find the opposite I uh, I get much better flavor when my pipe is rolling really well maybe that's why I favor a lot of burly blends they tend to burn cool, but I smoke straight Virginias the same way, and I can't say I've ever really had it give me tongue bite or have any bad effects other than the pipe gets a little warm sometimes. Unless I'm smoking an aromatic or a McBaron, a McBaron blend. They particularly, something in their casing that seems to give me tongue bite really fast. I don't think that's from the fast cadence because it usually happens right away. But you know, that's one of the first things you hear when uh, new pipe smokers say they're getting tongue bite. Everybody says, slow down, slow down. You know, And that's usually really good advice. It seems to solve a lot of people's problems. But I've always found myself the most satisfied with the smoke when the uh, when I puff it fast and the pipe's rolling. Another thing, uh, I'm fairly aggressive when it comes to tamping. I don't mean that I tamp extra hard, because uh, that'll just clog your pipe and make it impossible to hit. But uh, I tamp fairly often, if lightly. And I think that might tie into the same thing as the fast cadence. I find I get the best flavor and the most satisfying flavor in smoke when the bowl is fairly freshly tamped and the ash is compacted. And uh, I'm not sure why that is, but it's definitely been my experience. But that's another thing you always hear people say is don't tamp over and over and uh, definitely don't tamp too hard. That one you def I definitely agree with. A lot 
lot of people only tamp, you know, two or three times for the whole bowl. I find myself uh, tamping every probably <laughs> a minute or so, depending on the cut and everything else, how it smokes. Would I advise everybody to do that? No, definitely not. I think it's uh, another one of those things that's definitely very subjective and uh, different from person to person. Another thing I do that I've, I've heard this, that there's a lot of people who do this and a lot of people who say not to do it. It's kind of contested, but I mostly smoke everything out of all my pipes. There's a few that I don't use uh, with like Latakia blends. Basically, that's about my only limitation. I'll uh, I'll smoke. Well, I'm smoking Haunted Bookshop out of this right now. Later today, I might pack up a bowl of uh, you know some uh, Bijou or some Deluxe Navy rolls, something like that. I don't really find that, uh, other than the Flatakia blends, I don't really get much ghosting until it hits the very bottom of the bowl. That, in fact, that's a good indication of knowing when the bowl's about gone. I'm like, hmm, I taste something different that is not what I'm smoking right now. Some people say that, um, it's better to only smoke one type of blend out of your pipes because you get the best flavor that way. I can't say they're wrong. I just know that it doesn't seem to make much difference to me. It doesn't really impact my enjoyment at all. It doesn't change anything about the experience. So I like to smoke a wide variety of tobaccos. I like to have different tastes throughout the day. So. That's what I do. Sometimes I just want to use a certain pipe for a random blend. It seems to work out fine. I definitely retro hail a lot too. That's another one. Even on high nicotine blends, things like the uh, Sammy G ropes and uh, Peterson Irish flake, old Joe Krantz. Again, it's a flavor thing for me. I uh, get the most flavor when the smoke's kind of just rolling through my whole head, I guess. <laughs> what else? I'm sure there's more. Definitely don't let my pipes rest enough. I've heard people say that uh, the number of bowls you smoke out of a pipe in one day is the number of days you should let it rest. I don't think I've ever done that even once. Not with the pipes that I smoke all the time, anyway. I just make sure to give them a good cleaning every, you know, few times I use them, and it seems to work fine. So, if I have all these uh, bad habits, bad pipe smoking habits, what does that mean, really? That mean I'm doing it wrong? Nah. I say this online to people all the time. As long as you're enjoying yourself and nobody's getting hurt, you're doing it right. And uh, I always say it about pipe smoking, but I think that goes for a lot of things. We're always really ready to tell other people that they're doing things wrong because they don't do them the same way we do. And uh, we assume that if people do the things we tell them and they don't get the results that we expected, or the same results we got, that they must have done it wrong somehow. And a lot of times that just isn't the case in pipe smoking or in life. Humans are very varied creatures. And everything we do is pretty subjective. And I think it's... Uh, good thing to remember that. We should always be open to advice 
take the advice of others who have more experience than us, try it out with an open mind. But at the same time, we have to know what works for us and we have to be willing to let other people know what works for them. So if you want to, you know, smoke Captain Black out of a corn cob until the damn thing catches fire, it's your corn cob, your tobacco, and your mouth. You can do what you like. Um, same thing in life. I mean, look at me. If I want to walk down the street wearing fairy wings and a clown nose, nobody's getting hurt. Nothing wrong with it. So, uh, try and keep that in mind always. That's what I try to do in pipe smoking and in life and, and almost everything. If you're enjoying yourself and nobody's getting hurt, you're doing it right. Hope you all have a wonderful day.